Fine. So tonight is ILEA UK, which is the International Live Events Association, and we've got their big Halloween party, which is um, up there with their biggest events that they, they do and, and one that really sort of brings in the crowd. It's about impressing people, doing things that people haven't seen before, and, and creating a real sort of immersive experience that extends just not only with the venue, but into the food as well. Tonight's theme is Shipwrecked on a Cannibal Island. The in-house team at Cirque du Soir have like, some amazing staff and performers and stuff that they're going to um, lay on. So there'll be actors running around dressed as cannibals uh, and that kind of thing. And uh, it'll all be sort of a walking experience. Uh, we actually did our first event with Ilea last year. Um, and I like to think we've sort of taken things on a level with each one we've done. And, and tonight's when we're really going all out. So we're expecting about 100 people. Um, and it's, yeah, I think it's been an incredible sort of immersive experience. Cool, so what we're making here, short rib croquettes, pretty much, it's Jacob's Ladder, which is a short rib. And what we've got in there, we're binding with a bit of mashed potato, a little bit of the red wine sauce, truffle oil, and we're going to stir it with bok choy, nip puree, pancetta, and a red wine sauce. No potato really, because it's already in our little mix, so we don't want to overdo on the carbs. So here we've got some quail's eggs that Adam likes to call baby eggs. And uh, we're cooking these for two minutes and 40 seconds. Then I'm gonna pull them all and pan them, so flour, egg, and breadcrumb. Then we'll be deep frying them and these are for our vegetarian bowl food tonight. The event is at Cirque du Soir, which is an amazing venue if you haven't been there. You would be extremely impressed with some of the things that they come up with. Um, really creative, really, heavy on theming um, and they do some really amazing stuff so <clears throat> obviously we're in charge of the food side of that and we've got to bring our A game. We are against the clock today so I'm having to peel them while they're ever so slightly warm which isn't proving too easy. <laughs> I'm sure there must be a better way to do this. Um, what we do is probably about, I would say, 70% of our prep work we've done here, uh, possibly even more, probably even closer to 80%. And then those final finishing touches, the building of the, the bowls and the canapes, and the final cooking happens on site. Quick stir, great for home if you've got a lot of people coming around. You can get all your veggies done nice and early. Pour them down in ice water. And then all you gotta do is you can get in the microwave, season it up, olive oil, you can get later. It's a great way. With this is what we're going to stick with our fully skink, which is a salmon dish. So we've got some really special things planned and um, the guys downstairs prepping a suitable menu um, and we called in a few favours from some of the extended family of Ulva to uh, help with the theme inside of that special with the art station. This is how we're going to use our big reveal for the dessert station. So um, this will be initially closed and then opened up to reveal the desserts and we'll have a big dry ice effect. All the desserts will be uh, sat on here and then uh, completely edible scenery below. So we'll have uh, sand and edible moss um, and also a red coolie to be our scene as well. I'm pretty sure Dan's going to want to take credit for that one. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> The next 20 minutes, they should be finishing up their last bits of mise en place, uh, getting all the food nicely wrapped safely in the fridge and then on the van as quickly as possible. And then we should be departing in the next 10 15. It's not just a, um, an event that we're catering for, it's also an opportunity to network. So we get to meet lots of exciting new event professionals um, that potentially would book us for catering. Um, and we get to charm their socks off while dressed as cannibals. 